Hey gearheads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the support team bringing you another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of our brand new 8K products. It's our 8K 1616MA. That is our brand new 8K 16 input, 16 output matrix. We're excited about be talking about this one because it could do a lot for all you gamers out there, all those people that are diving into 8K already. This unit supports high resolutions such as 8K 60, 8K 30, 4K 120 Hertz. So for all those gamers out there looking for the high refresh rate, this unit got you covered. And also if you have a lot of sources and outputs, this is the unit for you because it has up to 16. So today we're going to do a little quick overview on how to set it up, how to dive into the web interface. There's a lot of ways to control this unit. Like, like always, you have, the, you have the remote, you have the push buttons on the front, uh, the web interface, as well as the app or even RS-232. But for today, we're just going to get this on the network, dive into the web GUI and just show you what it offers. First, actually, let's go over our setup before we dive in. As you can see, we have everything up and rolling. We don't have 16 sources, 16 displays right now. We're just doing a simple three by three uh, setup just for the demonstration today. First, we have a couple PlayStations, one PS5 Pro and one PS5. The PS5 Pro supports 4K 120 as well as 8K 60. The other one supports 4K 120. Um, and then also we have our 8K Mini Tester, the BG AVTPG Mini G2, which is uh, producing our 8K that which can support up to 8K60 as well. For our displays, we have two 8K TVs, also 4K 120 TVs, which supports all everything that we need. Also, we have our testing monitor here that to show that you can actually downscale uh, your 8K sources as well as your 4K 120 sources. If you don't have multiple 8K TVs, you can actually downscale it to show on your display if your display only supports 4K one, excuse me, 4K 60, 1080p, whatever it may be. Um, so because if you have 16 displays, 16 sources, chances are they might all be the same. So uh, we got you covered just in case. So let's go ahead and dive in on first. Let's get this on the network. So getting this on the network is pretty easy. Once you connect to a, your local network, if you want to turn on DHCP, just go ahead and hit the menu button there. You're going to go hit the down button to set up. You're gonna go down to network. As you can see, DACP is already on. So I'm gonna hit enter. You can either turn it on or off, uh, but it, it is on for us right now. Hit enter. And it pulled a local IP, so we can just log into our computer that's on the same network and jump into the web. Also, let's just really quick confirm the resolution on each uh, display that make sure that we're good. And we'll go into the web GUI and show you exactly how we got to that point. So as you can see on this one, actually through our 8K tester, 8K60, good to go there. On our PS5, we got 8K, excuse me, 4K at 120 for the racing game. And then also we were able to downscale here. It's at 4K60 on for our other PS PlayStation here. And there you go. All right, let's go ahead and put our IP address in 168.30.194. There we go. That's the IP address it pulled and we are here. Admin, admin, just lowercase admin for the password and boom. AK60, I'm sorry, AK1660MA. So as always, status page shows you all the firmwares, your current IP address, everything, um, even the current temperature and the MAC address all, and such. So as you can see, uh, here is our video page. This is where you do, you can do some switching. You got your presets right here. Um, Matrix is also a very similar page. It doesn't have the presets, but if you prefer to kind of click on your out, you click on your display and then change the source here you could do that as well for setup i always like to go through and um identify get rename all my sources to what they are so we got ps5 ps5 pro and our 8k tester and then same for our outputs i i went ahead and got our test monitor our all right, we have two, two 8K TVs, one's our new 8K and the other one's 8K. So, um, so when, you're, when you're dealing with 8K60, 4K 120, different sources like PS5, PS5 Pro, um, sometimes you have to do some, some uh, working around. Um, and that's what I did to get uh, just a downscale and make sure everything um, passes correctly. Because if you have, for, for example, if I ha I'm using a 4K 120 source, um, and but you have an HD TV, TV that only supports either 4K 60 or 1080p 60, it won't work because you can't 
uh, downscale that 120 to uh, 60 or vice versa. So yeah, the refresh rate has to line up. So. I, in order to do that, I switched to my PS5. As you can see here, let's go to um, my PS5 Pro. I set this to 4K at 6444 for the monitor because I knew it was just going to be on that monitor, but everything is set to the default 8K um, EDID for the, the rest. And then you could go to the output, output page here and also for, so anything on the test monitor, uh, this is where the scaling happens on here. So you have your options here. You can do pass through, but as no uh, auto scaling happens, uh, or if you want to force it down to eight, uh, 4K, take your 8K, 4K, uh, you can do that as well. Um, so that's what I did here for our test monitor. Since uh, this, the highest it supports is 4K 60, but the other monitors support 8K 60 or 4K 120, I kind of have to set it that way. Um, so you can see, uh, once you dive in all the options here for HDR, pr typically everything on auto is gonna it's gonna be your best bet. But if you wanna start deep dive in, you could turn Arc on. If you're looking to do that, you turn the stream off. Um, here's one thing, um, also, audio this unit supports a lot of cool audio features you can um, extract the audio over digital on the back there so there's some audio extraction and then there's audio matrixing so we get a lot of questions on hey does this matrix can i audio matrix so you can take your your audio source from one of the sources audio source from one of your inputs and put it anywhere you want you can even uh, take it from an arc source or you so if you had an external sound system you want to extract that and move it to that you can do that as well so for just for testing purposes, let's say if I want my PS5 Pro and all the sources here, I just go ahead and select that. And then it doesn't move from the test monitor and then you got it up on the AK TV and then you got it on uh, the other TV as well. Really simple. If you have, also if you have a lot of sources and a lot of outputs, you can always do all outputs right here. And then you can select which one you want on all of them. And just moving along to the rest of the options, we have some CEC options. It depends on your display, uh, how it well supports CEC. Typically, just the best is just try to turn, use the on and off feature. Network, if you look into set aesthetic IP or DHCP, you could do that here, or like on the front, like I did earlier, you could do that as well. And then also, if you wanna um, just uh, change the user password, um, also, if you want to change the admin password, you can do that or just create some users to have limited access. You can do that here. And then your system right here. Oh, my favorite feature, turning off the beep. Boom, no more beep. And then you could, uh, for the LC LCD screen, you can turn that off as well. It turns off at 30 seconds, but that's the front screen there. You need to change your baud rate, firmware update, factor reset, and reboot. So all our standard features right here in the web interface makes it really easy to control. Uh, but like I said, if you really uh, have a lot of sources and inputs, you wanna, you're gonna have to play around with all the video scaler, HDR. Most likely the video scaler is gonna, gonna do it for you. And that's pretty much for the web interface. Well, there you have it, GearHeads, another amazing 8K product from BZB Gear. Very excited to be launching this and get it in your, in your hands as soon as we can. The BG 8K 16, 16 MA, 16 sources, 16 displays, 8K 60, 4K 120. We got you covered. Of course, if you have any technical or support questions, hit us up at support. Love to help answer any of those questions for you. Or if you have any issues that we can help you get over, please, please reach out to us. Also, if you have any sales questions, hit up any of our sales associates to see how this one be great fit for your environment or into existing environment so you can get all your 8k 60 4k 120 devices supported and of course don't forget to like and subscribe to bzb tv so you'll be notified when more of our 8k products or any other bzb gear products come out we got you covered and as always have a great day